Hello, everyone, and welcome to Ram Stadium here in Shepherdstown, West Virginia, for today's PSAC crossover matchup between the Shepherd Rams and the California Vulcans. My name is Jonathan Saban. Alongside me here today is Jonathan Sakaguchi. Johnny, how are you doing today? Doing good, uh, John. A little bit of an early start for us this morning, but besides that, a little bit of coffee and breakfast, and I'm good to go. Oh, but it's a beautiful day here in Shepherdstown, West Virginia. Had a nice drive on our way down here, er, but it's a good day for football. Oh, a little bit on the warm side, but let's see if the Vulcans can bounce back after that uh, tough loss last week to Kutztown. Absolutely. Both teams coming into this one fighting for something. Shepard undefeated so far. Looked absolutely phenomenal in both of their games. California looking to bounce back after that tough loss last week to Kutztown. So we can take a look here at the tail of the tape. Johnny, what do we got? All right. Taking a look here at the tail of the tape. So points per game. And right now, Shepard are averaging 44 and a half uh, points a game. The Vulcans about 27 points exactly. The points against, well, old, old, old Shepard, what can we say about that defense? They've only given up 14 points altogether this season. And so holding their opponents to seven points a game. Cal's been holding their opponents to 19 and a half. Uh, if looking at the passing yards, it's pretty similar for the most part. Or, but Shepard has the edge in that one, 291 and a half versus the Vulcan, and it's 248 and a half. Rushing attempts, um, so, oh, Shepard has a nice lead on that one as they're up 274 and a half, half up to against Cal's almost 143 and a half, half averaging about oh, 566 yards a game are the Rams for the Vulcans, about oh, almost 400 a game. Yeah, absolutely. Both teams coming in this one very well. Um, as we have both teams' captains heading out towards the midfield. But going back into that one a little bit, Shepard, just both sides of the ball so far this season have been absolutely phenomenal. But I think it's fair to say, both you and I were talking about it maybe a little bit yesterday, that this is probably Shepard's first real test so far this season. Yeah, uh, last week the, the Rams took on the Fighting Scots of Edinburgh uh, and dominated that one. 41-7 to seven was the final score in that one. And, and for Cal, oh, they were... For count, oh, 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 it was a 24 or to not 24 to 19, 19 victory for the the Golden Bears of Kutztown. So, oh. And before we get into this one, just a little bit of record watch. Already broke the passing touchdown records this year so far. Is no Mitchell, but he is now only 73 yards away from tying the record for the most passing yards in Vulcan history. He needs 74 here today to break it and. No matter, regardless how this game goes, I'm pretty confident that he will. Yeah, I agree with you on that one. And so the Vulcans won the top. Lost John elected it to defer until the second half. Uh, so they're going to get of uh, this offense of Kutztown, or excuse me, Shepard heard a chance to start the game. And so a bit. Big task for this Vulcan defense. I mean, we see, we've seen in the last couple of weeks how good this Vulcan defense can be. But like we said, can will they be able to stop uh, Shepard? No one has been able to so far. So it'll be a good, it'll be a good opportunity to see like just how capable this defense is of handling them. Coming out to kick for the Vulcans will be Anthony Beatko. Back deep for Shepard will be number 34, Jacob Haney as well as Ronnie Brown and Clayton Batten all back to return for or for Shepard. And after what after watching some film on Shepard last week, he, he, Ronnie Brown is a guy you're going to have to watch uh, cuz he he gets in the open field, he will will take off. Biko waiting for the whistle. Vulcans wearing red and white going or Going from right to left, Kutztown, or Shepard, you got me saying Kutztown, Shepard, and the blue and gold going from left to right, and Biko kick gets us underway, taken out from Brown, from his own five, Brown able to get a little bit of space, but brought down just shy of the 30-yard line. Yeah, good, good coverage by the Vulcans there, I thought Brown was going to uh, bust to the outside, I had, the air, had a lane for a hot uh, moment, and but the Vulcans shut it down real quick, but decent field position for or Shepard or to start here. A good start for the Sh Shepherd offense, led by an absolutely phenomenal quarterback behind the number two Tyson Badgen. Yeah, uh, what can we say about this? I put him in the class with no, with our quarterback Noah Mitchell on, on uh, IQ for football, all and just a phenomenal arm here. There, the Vulcans are gonna have to keep in check. Badgen in the shotgun, running back to his left, two receivers to his right. 
Fadgen gets the snap, fakes the handoff, quick little pass, but a nice quick tackling there. Tackle made by, by Dominic Solomon Jr. A gain of about two, that pass was completed to, to, um, to Beach for about a gain of two. And that, that is gonna be his favorite target hit of the game in four or Shepard or it is Beach. He is their, their favorite, <laughs> their top receiver here. There wasn't listed on the two deeps, but uh, someone to keep an eye out for today. Shepard with going with the no snap, but motion man to the right pass completed to Brown. Brown looking to get a couple blocks, but that one only about about of a gain of one. Great job by this Vulcan defense going uh, laterally across the field, able to bring him down. Yeah, Josh Miller or stop with the stop there. Uh, keeping and Shepard are only like a two yard or gains, maybe a three yard gain on that one. And we watched, like you said, we watched some film on Shepard the other day. Brown is absolutely explosive, so the Vulcans need to do a good job of tackling him in the backfield, and it was able to do so. Trips on the left-hand side for Shepard Badgen in the shotgun once again. Running back moves in motion now. He's going to stand to his left. About 10 seconds left here on the game clock. M Brown moves to Badgen's right now. Third down and six from the 32. Badgen gets the snap, looking to his right, trying to fire deep. That pass, I'm broken up. Almost an absolutely beautiful catch by Marlon Cook, but Cook isn't able to bring it down. Went for the one-handed spectacular. We saw that a little bit out of Deontay Johnson, that Steeler game the other day. Yeah, and Ma uh, Micah Tillman on, on the the deflection there to break up, up the pass there. there. Good play. We haven't got a chance to call Tillman's name much this season thus far. Or, or didn't really notice him last week against Kutztown, um, but already ma making a big play here. The Vulcans able to get Shepard to go three and all, not something we see a whole lot. There's a, some motion going back, but Ryan Barrick back to punt for Shepard. His punt is on their way. That one a little bounce one, one time in front of Cam Tarrant. He's just gonna let that one roll. It's gonna be marked down at about the 33 yard lines for the Vulcan offense to take over. Yeah, great punt there, er, the er, er, uh, um, Shepard. Er, almost blocked again, and and we keep talking about the uh, special teams unit at four or the Vulcans. Eventually, they're going to get that kick. Nick, I know it's coming here sooner or rather than later. Special teams, not something talked about too often, but obviously a third of how important the team is. Need to get good field position. And the Vulcans have some here on the 30, or the, about the 27-yard line for Noah Mitchell. Two receivers to his left. Mitchell gets a snap, looking, scrambling towards his right. He's going to take off. He's going to slide down after about a gain of one or two. And that's the thing, like we said, hey, with the quarterback act for, or or Shepard or in back. I get it. Same thing with Noah Mitchell. Oh, he's got a very good IQ for football. Oh, so, oh he's read the play was going to fall apart and just started doing something with his legs. Yeah, has very good pocket presence, able to just step up and get out of there. Able to pick up about once. Going to be second down and nine from the 28-yard line. It's going to be McCann to his right. Four receivers out for Mitchell. Hands it off to McCann. McCann working his way up the left-hand side. Able to find a hole, but runs into a pack of Rams. Going to get brought down at right around the first down marker. We're going to wait for the spot. Looks like it's going to be marked just short, I believe. Yeah, it's going to be third and inches, it looks like. Like, but uh, McCann got on another good lane to run, but something we've been talking about all season with the Vulcans here. Er, good running a thing offense here er, for Cap. Oh, well, once again, and, and that's been the struggle for the Shepard defense is that run defense. Hopefully the Vulcans can exploit that here. It's going to be third down, in, like you said, third in, in inches. Got McCann in the backfield in the power eye formation. Two receivers to Mitchell's left. Mitchell, or the first down, and a few more as he's powering his way. Up the field, going to be brought down at about the 43-yard line. Yeah, and that was another good run there. Er, er, power eye, I, I know that, that offense very well. Oh, from my days at Uniontown, oh, on just made for short yardage, but uh, every now and then you can get it that at, for, at short yardage you need, and then some. And that's exactly what happened here with McCann and kept them powerful legs turn it in upfield before they blow the whistle. And we talked about that a lot as well. He's not the he's not the biggest running back you've ever seen, but he is powerful, able to pick up just enough for the first down. It's going to be first down and 10 from the Vulcan zone, 39-yard line. Mitchell in the shotgun, two receivers to Mitchell's left, or to Mitchell's right, excuse me. Mitchell gets a snap, quick pass to the right. That one is complete. 
It's going to be a gain of a couple ja ja to Jaquay Jackson. Jackson able to break off a tackle before getting brought down past the first down marker. So the Vulcans able to march their way inside the Rams territory. That's the first pass, uh, completed pass of the day for, for Noah Mitchell. Oh, and that's going to be the, another first down on for the Vulcans. So 10 yards or is down on another er, 60 um, to go. I expect to see that a lot. Uh, Mitchell to Jackson, obviously a, a dynamic duo there. It's going to be shotgun for Mitchell, three receivers to his left. He's going to hand it off to McCann. McCann able to find a hole and pick up a few. He's going to get brought down just shy uh, at about the 42-yard line after a game of about five or six. Yeah, uh, good run there. Uh, that's what we've been talking about. Oh, that's going to be a thing we talk about here today hey, is this run offense of the Vulcan. And against this run defense of Shepard. Er, Shepard er, coming in today, ranked fourth in the country. The uh, Vulcans, after that loss last week, fell out, out looking to get back in there, Aaron. You could get decent position with a big win in against a top five opponent. Oh, absolutely. And it's just crazy to see after one tough loss, the Vulcans drop all the way out. Mitchell in the shotgun trips to his right, fakes the pass, the fakes the handoff, but a quick pass to Jackson is caught. Is going to get marked down at about the 41 yard line, so pickup of about one on the quick screen. Looks like it's going to be a third down and five. A few receivers switching, switching in and out. There's going to be two on each side, two to the left, two to the right. McCann's still in the backfield for Mitchell. And you got some of the, of the of Mitchell's favorite target. It's on both sides of him right now, but it looks like he's going to go with the empty set. Mitchell feeling it, sends McCann out to the right hand side. So Three to the right, about nine seconds left on the game clock. Something that the Vulcans struggled with last week is getting plays off in time, so need to do so here. Mitchell able to get the snap, pass quickly, and the pass is incomplete, ripped out of the hands of Cam Tarrant. Tried to pull that one in, but good coverage, and that one's going to go down as a drop. Down, looks like with that, it will be fourth down. Looks like the Vulcans will send out the punting unit to try to pin Shepard back deep inside their own inside their own territory. And we talked about Rose's deal last week, Ika, how, how good of a punter he was as uh, the freshman and from Ringo Old, Old just uh, us, throw, us doing great things out here. Is, uh, that they're getting their personnel out here for the Vulcans. Back to, to receive the punt will be number three, Rodney uh, Dorsey. Rose and Steele's punt is a beauty. It's going to be Fair caught just shy of about at the 14-yard line, so it looks like 